morning, everyone. This is Pastor Mike Filibert at Heritage Presbyterian Church, um, and this is Wes Martin. Yes, and so um, we are here for morning prayer today. I'm my caller because I'm supposed to go down today to the Capitol Bible Study at the State Capitol and lead that today. And so um, I wanted to say happy birthday to Monique Wagner. Happy birthday, Monique. And um, also we want to be praying for some friends of ours, um, um, for Clay, and whose family just lost his father. And um, I also want to pray for Faith and Judith's mother um, who had a fall and has some um, brain injuries. And we're going to pray for her. Her name is Lynette. We'll pray for them in a little bit. Uh, just some book recommendations. Uh, Leviticus almost never gets any airtime, so I'm going to make two commentary recommendations on Leviticus. This is Alan P. Ross called Holiness to the Lord. It's a really delightful study uh, commentary. You can see it's kind of thick on Leviticus. I recommend it. And um, there's another one as well, a fellow by the name of Jay Sklar. Uh, his book on Leviticus, um, really a great book. And with it comes, you can buy a study guide. So if you wanted to, I don't know if you can see it, but if you wanted to look at maybe doing this for a Bible study uh, with some friends or an adult class, it's even got a study guide with it and I uh, highly recommend it. I love this statement that Squar writes in his commentary as he's thinking about um, Aaron and his sons. And he goes, those who lead the Lord's people are always to be the first to hallow his name. Those who lead the Lord's people are to be the first to hallow his name. So I recommend both of these commentaries on Leviticus, and I recommend you read Leviticus. Aha! Okay, so for morning prayer this morning, we are at James chapter 1. Uh, just picking up where we left off, James chapter 1, verses 9 through 15. James 1, 9 through 15. Let the lowly brother boast in his exaltation and the rich in his humiliation. Because like a flower of the grass, he will pass away. For the sun rises uh, with its scorching heat and withers the grass. Its flower falls and its beauty perishes. So also will the rich man fade away in the midst of his pursuits. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I'm being tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, and he himself tempts no one. But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. Then desire, when it has conceived, gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is fully grown, brings forth death. Let's pray. Lord God, we are grateful, both Poverty and uh, prosperity are in your hands, and you give those out. And, Lord, you play no favorites. Um, you are a God who is impartial, and for that we are grateful, because if you were partial, we would be in a heap of trouble. And so, Lord, we pray, whatever our state is, that we would, we would boast in the state you've put us in, not to elevate ourselves and uh, brag and... Um, uh, boast, but Lord, that we would rejoice in your goodness to us. We pray that you would help us, that we would remain steadfast under trials, that we would stand the test. Um, we pray, Lord, that uh, we would not allow our desires to dominate us and control and rule us and conquer us, but instead, Lord, uh, in the strength and in your steadfastness that you bless us with, we would uh, rein those desires in, Lord. Thank you for your holy word that warns us and guides us and leads us. Lord, we pray for Monique. We ask that you bless her birthday, that this would be a great day, and uh, that you'd bless her with a full year. We pray, Lord, for the Capital Bible Study meeting this afternoon, that that will be rich and full, and those who are there will be blessed. I pray, Lord, we pray for our friend Clay. Lord, we, we mourn with him the loss of his father. We um, can only imagine the sadness that must prevail. And um, Lord, we pray that you would be his comfort, that you, oh good shepherd, would um, be there and uh, hold him in your arms and give him and his family peace and rest in the midst of the grief, Lord. And may they look up rejoicing in you, knowing that death is the last enemy that Christ conquers. 
And Lord, we pray for our friends, Faith and her sister, Judith. Lord, as they um, care for her mother, Lynette, their mother, Lynette, we ask you to be with her as she strives to recover. We pray for the medical community around her, that they would be very successful in the rehab and her recovery. We pray that um, that you would help her with the cognitive capacities, that they would she would begin to regain those more and more, and um, that you would grant her full recovery, Lord. We pray for Faith and Judith and the rest of the family. Lord, give them hope, give them peace, give them strength, give them resilience, Lord, in the midst of this. Father, um, while we rejoice in all gospel-believing, gospel-preaching, Bible-teaching, Jesus-loving churches, we pray especially for PCA churches, Presbyterian Church in America churches right here in Oklahoma. Uh, churches in Tulsa, Bartlesville, Oklahoma City, Norman, uh, Minko, uh, and other potential church plants. I pray that those churches that are already here, uh, like our own, would continue to lead their people towards you, to walk humbly with you, to love you, uh, to do good. Uh, and that all of these churches would likewise, as they lead their people towards you, Lead those who do not know you into your kingdom, uh, whether it's just through regular neighborhood evangelism where they are, or whether it's by planting new churches where there aren't any. Uh, I ask that there would be sort of a, a sprouting uh, of churches all around Oklahoma, because despite how many churches there are, we could use more. We need more gospel preachers and more churches that are teaching the Bible and following you. Lord, also just for, uh, we pray for our friends, John and Janita. Uh, we thank you for a new retirement, new time, and that new transition could go well. Pray for Jim and Susan, the struggles um, that come with a hard time. Um, just that you would uh, shower both of these uh, with all of your goodness. Pray for David, Sue Ann, and Luke. Uh, that you would lead them day by day, that all, with all these you would uh, help them know your love more and more and more. Father, thank you for our beautiful day. Thank you for uh, how you have cared for us and held us in your hands. Thank you, Lord, for friendships and for our families. And we thank you that we can pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, there we are in morning prayer. We'll pick up right where we left off tomorrow, and I uh, hope you can join us then. Uh, if you like this, give us a thumbs up, give us a heart, give us a care, <laughs> give us a mad face, whatever you need to do that makes you feel good. Just give us some kind of feedback. would be great. Leave us, uh, if you have prayer requests, please send us prayer requests, and we'll remember to pray for them. And um, until tomorrow, the God of hope, Fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.